Bows, welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic, and if you're new here, let me be the first to introduce you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle, and I upload videos every Wednesday and every Friday. Today's edition of the vlog is super exciting. This is our first trip to out of the country, to out of the country, out of the country since COVID started. Um, it is 6.10 in the morning. I am already dressed. My sister is gonna take me to the airport. So there won't be any Uber Chronicles today, but we are headed to Cancun. Um, flight is at 8 a.m. I'm not worried, I'm not checking a bag. Um, I have TSA pre-check, so I don't think there's gonna be too many issues at the airport, but I wanna get there a little bit earlier, just in case there are some safety and health concerns or safeguards that the airport is doing that I do not know about. Um, my bags are right there, ready to go, packed. That's some Zara stuff and some eyelashes welcome to the studio and um all right so i will talk to you guys when i get to the airport and let's go to cancun okay i am now at the airport um it's a little bit over what 7 15 ish i want to say yeah 7 15 and it is very empty in here i'm gonna turn you guys around so that you can see i'm gonna go through i'm gonna go through tsa pre-check and um yeah let's get to travel Actually, I passed immigration. I still gotta go through customs, give my paperwork. I picked up my bag. I had to check it because roller boards were not allowed. Um, so we're about to go outside and wait for our transportation and we get to the resort.
Okay guys, so I just got to my room. I just showed you guys what it looked like. It's super beautiful. Private pool, I'm super happy about that. I'm going to freshen up and then meet the girls so that we can go outside and um, have some much needed pool time. I will say that the entire travel process was really, really good. American, I flew American Airlines and they sort of overpacked the plane, at least a little bit more to my liking than I would have liked it. Um, but otherwise it was fine. My first flight from Orlando to Miami was fine. Miami to Cancun was a little full. There was a lot of people here, but um, we're here and safe. So, um, all right, so I'll see you guys in a little bit once I freshen up. It looks like my camera died or my camera's doing something here it is i'm now filming from my iphone so if the quality of the video changes is because my camera gave up on me which really sucks because y'all needed to see this <laughs> so i'm gonna keep vlogging from my phone and um you didn't eat yet 
and then we'll go from there. All right, so I will see y'all later. We're having breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys just the other part of the resort where we're hanging out at. Um, we're gonna head to an excursion. I told you I never know what we're gonna do because my friends always got plans. I gotta go to the store, find some water shoes, um, and then we'll do that. People are out there doing yoga, Par no, that's not parasailing. I don't know, that's just a boat. So, all right, I'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Here, let me get one to Leah. Oop. I brought mine too, but this is a little thinner than this. Okay, ladies. No more stuff, no more people. We just got to the excursion place. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing because everything is a surprise. Um, let me come into the light. Is this lighting better? Here, can you even see me? There we go. No, that ain't it. You can see me now. Okay, we just got to the excursion place. I'm not exactly sure what we're doing. Um, but yeah, let's get ready to be surprised. Hey guys, I am actually back at the resort. Um, so we went on this excursion. We went, not skydiving, we went snorkeling. Um, we swam through the caves, it was beautiful, but they would not allow any cameras, any phones, so I was not able to take any pictures or anything like that, so I'm bummed out that I couldn't vlog that part of the experience. fun it's about 6 45 um, it's starting to get a little dark here so it is almost time to start getting ready for dinner i think we're gonna go to an italian restaurant here on the ground um, so i'm gonna try to do maybe obviously i'll bring you guys to dinner with me but i'm trying to figure out if i should do a get ready with me because i want to sneak in a nap so my getting ready process will be very quick um so we'll see but just hanging out by the pool um, it's kind of closing down a little bit. It's not very pretty cool out here, but I will show you guys the pool area, what's going on right now, and um, yeah, we're gonna go from there. Not breakfast, just some coffee. Not even coffee, a chai latte. We are at this cute little restaurant called the Nook. I'm gonna spin you guys around. Um, it's still super early, some of the other girls are sleeping. Look how cute this is. Got little books. Here goes our barista. There's some, we're coming back later for these. 
yes, store bag. So happy Saturday. I'm gonna show you guys around the resort and then we're gonna start our day. It's a little humid, it's a lot humid here. So my camera's not really, you know, cooperating, but we're gonna get this done. All right, y'all, bye. It is time for the bridal photo shoot. So now here we are. We are at the rooftop. We are getting ready to start today.
have just been rained out of snow to show you guys. We were having our little boot party and then, uh, yeah, the rain decided to descend on us. Tropical storm. Tropical storm. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys. It's supposed to be a nice, beautiful day and then the rain came. So, we're gonna hang out inside. Thank you so much. Cheers to the weekend. guys so before I ended this vlog I wanted to talk about what most of you and a lot of you have been asking me about which was my actual travel experience so leaving Florida and going into Miami and then to can I mean leaving Florida leaving Orlando and then going into Miami and then flying into Cancun there were no additional safety um, health safeguards so essentially I was not required to take an additional test the only thing I had to do was a test via affidavit that I had not contracted COVID in the last 14 days that I had not been in contact with anyone who was infected and um, that I did not have a positive test result within the last 14 days. Um, we were, I flew American Airlines and they gave us a brown paper bag of a miniature water, some pretzels and a sanitizing wipe. I already had some Clorox wipes that I used to wipe down my seats. Um, social distancing, my flight from Orlando to Miami was very bare. My flight from Miami to Cancun was really packed. I was actually very surprised, um, but not to the point where I felt uncomfortable. When we got to Cancun, the social distancing guidelines were still in place. Interestingly, they were five feet as opposed to six feet. Not exactly sure why that one foot of difference. Um, I mean, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, and then let's see what else. When we got to, um, our driver actually asked us to sanitize our hands and um, we had a private driver. When we 
reached the resort, we were asked again to sanitize our hands. We had to continue to wear the face mask up until check-in. They did ask us to sanitize our feet. They did keep our luggage prior to us checking in. They asked us to take out whatever we wanted. And I'm not exactly sure if that was more so because the rooms were ready or because they were gonna spray them down. I think it was a little bit of both because at one point they said, oh, your rooms were ready, but we still had to wait an additional like 40 to 45 minutes before we got our bags. Um, also room service, everything was super clean. Um, all the meals were individualized. There were not a lot of buffets as you typically see in resorts with the exception of one restaurant. If you ordered room service, everything was personalized. It was served in like mason jars. So for example, I ordered ceviche and um, chips and my ceviche came in a mason jar and my chips came in this like vacuum sealed um, Ziploc sort of bag, which was really happy about. The room service that we ordered, the um, wait staff did not come inside. There was this sort of like a door. There was this, <laughs> yeah, it was this door on the outside that I can also open from the inside. She sanitized the area before she placed the food on the inside. I had to watch her. She asked me to watch her. Um, let's see what else. I also was very happy because when they came to turn down our room the first night or the, the following day, they actually changed the sheets. Now, typically, if you stay at a hotel, they will not change your sheets every night unless you are staying for a really long time or you actually request it. But um, they actually change our sheets. I know that because I watched her. <laughs> I was in there getting ready. Sometimes I hate that because they feel uncomfortable. Um, but um, housekeeping people feel uncomfortable. But I mean, I hey, oh, I, I was still in there. So that was really good. When we went on our excursion the following day, our driver also asked us to sanitize our hands. He actually gave us new face masks. So that was good. Um, there was a lot of socially distancing in the pool, except for people who chose not to. We pretty much kind of stayed in our own bubble. Um, we stayed at Breathless Resort. And I want to say it's a massive property, you know, the tens of thousands of square footage. And we actually learned that there were only 259 people staying at the same time as we were staying. Um, now we were, we arrived on Thursday by Friday or Saturday, we saw more people arriving. So I'm sure those numbers went up, but there were also people checking out, um, throughout the time we were there as well. So they were at, they were able to fill up to 30% capacity, but they were only at 30, I'm sorry, they were only at 20% capacity. Um, what else? Travel from Cancun back to the Americas, North America, America. Um, again, very uneventful. I flew back again with American Airlines, same brown paper bag with the miniature water, the pretzels and the sanitizing wipes. I wiped my seats down myself. You were allowed to take your mask off if you were eating or if you were drinking, but you did have to keep it on for the entirety of your flight. And when I got through customs, that was very easy. I have TSA, I'm sorry, I have global entry and TSA pre-check. Um, but because of my global entry, that wait time to get back into America was very slow. So I don't know if they had an extended health safeguard procedure for those who did not have global entry. I don't think they did. I literally came in and it was the same as if I was flying in pre-COVID. He just asked me a couple of questions. Where did you go? Have you been in contact with any livestock? Do you have any alcohol duty free? No, 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 no. I didn't check a bag. Um, so it was very easy. My flight from Cancun to Dallas, which was my connecting flight was full. And no, that's not true. I had a whole aisle to myself and same thing from um, Texas to Florida. I also had an entire row to myself. So. In terms of flying internationally, there were no additional safeguards that I saw. Like you had to take an additional test when you got to the airport or something like that. Um, unless I'm sure somebody was showing physical signs of having or the symptoms of COVID, I think they were probably been a little bit more done, but I did not encounter or experience that. I did not feel unsafe flying. I actually thought um, and I said this to a couple people that this was probably, in terms of cleanliness, the best time to fly. Um, and I'm not taking away from the seriousness of COVID or I'm not trying to make light of it or, you know, but honestly, I think a lot of airlines and private companies are taking it very seriously in terms of cleanliness. And I appreciate that. I think that should be the floor now. That should be the standard. You know, everything comes sanitized. You sanitize after you touch everything. You change the sheets nightly for your guests. 
Um, so hopefully that brings about sort of like this new standard in the hospitality industry. And um, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. I do have one more trip coming up. <laughs> it's national. I'm gonna. I'm trying not to OD. Um, overdo it for those of you who don't know what that is. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate you guys for watching. I apologize for the light. The humidity in Cancun was so bad that my lens would literally take like 10 to 15 minutes to adjust. Now that could be user error. So if you have a Canon GX7 III and you know that that camera is not supposed to be doing that, let me know because I am this close. That's about done with this camera. <laughs> so, um, but otherwise I had an amazing time. Super excited and honored to have celebrated my girlfriend for her upcoming nuptials. That's what I went for, a bachelorette party. And um, yeah, that's about it. So if you stuck around this long, you already know what to do. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, you hit that bell notification so you know each time I drop a video, which is every Wednesday and every Friday. And I will see you guys later. Bye Zoe, bye Joshua, bye Sonny. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.